Hi guys, Professor Gustavo here. Let's take a look on how to set up the arm bar and triangle from the closed guard, okay? Simple stuff. So you're here on the closed guard, and the guy has, first we have to break the guy's posture. Because if he has a nice posture, then I have nothing here. He's defending everything with a nice posture. It's hard to throw something. It just helps him to escape, right? So I have to bring him down first. How I'm gonna do that? I have to use my legs a little more. Bring, run my calf behind his behind his back. Bring my hip, my knees towards my chest. Putting tension on this hand here. He has to post hard on my chest, otherwise he's gonna fall. When I bring my legs close to my body. So once there is this tension here, I'm gonna deflect this. Sometimes I deflect to the outside, and I immediately control his neck. Now I'm controlling his posture. Sometimes, instead of to the outside, I deflect to the inside. Either one, always running for his neck here. And a little variation, sometimes I can punch to the inside and start going to arm drag and stuff. Let's say I just bring him down. So, create tension on this arm using my legs. Now I can deflect this. Control his neck, right? Once I control his neck, controlling his posture, now most of the time he's gonna try to regain his posture, but pushing off on my body. Sometimes it's gonna be pushing off on my hip, sometimes a little closer to my chest. If it's on my hip, then it's the, the best option here is the triangle, since his hands are already closer to my hip. All I'm gonna do is keep one hand here on the neck and go with one hand here controlling his wrist. I'm gonna punch his hand in between my legs. So instead of just punching from here, where he, there is still a wedge here where he can grab, I lift my hip a little, making my hip more flat. Easier to punch his hand on the inside. So as he tries to push it up, lift my hip, kill that wedge, punch on the inside, shoot my leg over. He's already inside of the triangle, one arm between my legs. Now there's several ways to do it. The triangle, let's do simpler way. Okay, I'm gonna control my ankle here. From the neck, control my ankle. That's the posture control I just replaced. Step on his hip, dig my hand under, get my angle, making sure that my hip is touching my hip, my knee here, right? That's why I'm stepping on his hip. If I'm stepping on the mat, there is a space for his arm to clear. He goes for a double unders. Right here, I'm fine. Make sure my shin is parallel to the mat. There is no space here. I'm biting his neck. I lock my triangle, squeeze, pull down, lift the hip, hips up, ready to finish. I don't even need to cross his arm. I get the angle instead of crossing his arm. So one more time here. Bring the guy down, run my leg here, deflect, control his posture. He's gonna try to push on my hip to push it up. Control the wrist, lift, punch on the inside. I'm good to go. Just replace the neck by my shin, step on his hip, get my angle. I have my triangle here. Second option is, he has a nice posture again, the flat control, and now he's gonna post on my chest instead of on my hip, right? It varies from people to people. Now what I'm gonna do is, since he's posting on my chest, trying to push it up, there is a little more space for my leg. So I'm gonna control his elbow and step on his hip. And my goal here is trying to move his elbow towards the center of my body. Because if his elbow's clamping here on my hip, I can't pass my leg over his head. So I step on his hip, knee always tight against his body, so he blocks his elbow too, he cannot pull his elbow back. A nice C grip here behind his tricep. And I'm gonna start pumping here. If he wants his elbow to the outside, I want his elbow to the inside. So lift my hip, similar as we did before. As we, I drop my hip down, I push his elbow to the inside. I might have to do that two, three times. Bring his elbow close to the center line of my body, close to my belly button. And then the arm bar is pretty much here. Climb this leg as high as I can, as I get my angle, pushing off this foot. Let's do a little different. Instead of passing my leg over his head, I just pass over his shoulder and I lock. 
Once I pass over his shoulder, make sure this leg is under the other one. If it's over, it's too much gap. So as I pump and bring his elbow towards the center, step, angle, over the shoulder, and I lock my legs. If I pinch my knees together now, because this leg is over his shoulder, it's so tight here that I can go for the iron bar right away. Just slide my hands to his wrist, lift my hip. I don't even need to pass my leg over his head. If I ever need, yeah, just push his hand, and I have my arm bar. He has a nice posture. Great tension on this arm by running my legs. The flat, nice. He's posting a little close to my chest. There is more room for my leg. Control the elbow. Step, pump, pump, pump. Catch time. Over his shoulder. I cannot miss his shoulder here. So I drive my leg against his head. Clamp down, clamp down. I'm good to go. Pinch my knees together. Lift my hip. I'm bias rider. Right 